is up, everybody? How's everyone doing? Um, today, we're going to be talking about some go-go grooves. Um, obviously, I'm not from Washington, D.C., so go-go is still pretty new to me. But I came across this when I was exploring Yost Nichols' groove book. There's a link to that below, so totally check that out. Um, there's also a PDF below. Now, it's worth getting this because then you can see how the pattern falls. And you can also see how this is just the paradiddle, but we're doing some splits and switches and stuff like that. So in Yost's book, he talks about doing what he calls a split. Now, I will not ruin the book. Go buy the book. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to take certain notes from what I'm going to use as a paradiddle and move it to a different sound source. To keep it really go-go, I've stuck it on the cowbell. We could use toms, we could use a stacker, noisemaker over here. We could use the bell of the right symbol. That's a lot of movement, but we can get it. Um, we could also use some left-sided stuff. The idea is to take our hi-hat pattern and split it between some different sound sources. So we're going to take our paradiddle. We're going to play it straight up normal paradiddle groove style which is right hand hi-hat, left hand snare drum. We're going to keep the back beat on two and the back beat on four. In our first paradiddle section, or the first half of the groove, which is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. We are going to take the first hi-hat right hand and play it on the hi-hat. We're going to take the second right hand and play it on the cowbell. Then we're going to come straight back to the hi-hat for the third right hand. And then on the fourth right hand, we're going to play that on the cowbell. In the second half of the groove, in beats three and four, three E and F or E and F, we're going to invert what we just did. We're going to play the first right hand on the cowbell, the second right hand on the hi-hat, the third on the cowbell, and the fourth on the hi-hat. What that does is that creates a cowbell part that is almost identical to the standard go-go cowbell part that a percussion player would play. That part is one and two, E, three, a four, and, so we're missing that one out, but our splitting creates one E and a two E and a three E and a four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. So let's try that with a kick on the one and the three, and we're going to try that at 65 beats a minute. Now let's try that at 80 beats a minute. Push it a little faster. Always keep challenging yourself. And finally, let's try that up at 95, which is kind of like Go go tempo. So, I hope you guys dug that lesson. Um, please do subscribe, please do share it around. Um, another little point move the cowbell to the toms or the cowbell to the stacker and go and check out a guy called Rashid Williams. He plays for Jill Scott. And he is killing this go-go kind of stuff. I'll see you guys next time.